Hello and welcome to another outdoor video vlog by yours true. This time you find me in the port of Perak in Croatia on the Adriatic coast. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's the old church there and the sort of harbour area. That's looking back up to where we're staying and that temporary fairground. Beautiful and warm. The sea here. The sea is actually warmer than swimming pool water, which is um it's a lovely hotel, but I'm just slightly disappointing that the temperature of the water is, is cooler than the sea, but still it's a lovely place. Anyway, I'd like to talk about going the extra mile, uh, how much it will benefit you if you just do the right things, you know, and you're just willing to just go the extra mile for people. So we arrived in Venice on the I think Sunday night. It was actually raining. We come from the wettest July back in, in uh, the part of uh, England we live in history and we land in Venice and it's flipping raining it was unbelievable so I'm just going to move out of the way now it's very busy here so yeah there we are in the pouring rain strong winds it's actually cold getting on a bit late we'll go and look for something to eat and uh, the first square we come to it's this kind of like deserted restaurant area, like tables and chairs and that. So I wonder what this is like. So we go and sit a bit and uh, the owner and his wife could have been more welcoming. Could be more amazing. It got, the weather was so bad they were actually having to anchor them on the down and stuff. But being true northern English people, um, we battled for it. I'm going to make my way, then there are a few of the three around there now. I'm going to walk down and pick up my water. So yeah, there we were. Looking for something to eat. We went to the most unlikely spot. And it turns out that's brilliant service and it's the best Italian food that I've ever eaten in my life. It's a blessing. As unlikely as it seemed. The following night, Ben says, oh, let's go somewhere a bit more fancy. We go there. Lovely, lovely spot, location, food was okay, service was okay, but they, yeah, there was no attention to detail, they couldn't, they weren't really that bothered, you know, they were just, we were just another cover for them, like, you know, and, uh, you know, everything went so fast, it was like, they were just trying to free the table up for more customers and that, so, st the, the story, the story of this really is that, given an option, and you, you had to go back for a third night and you had to pick a restaurant. You'd definitely pick the former. There's no doubt about it. You'd just go to the one with the service, it's better and all the rest of it. Even though it wasn't a fancy place or anything like that. So yeah, that's what we would have done. It's, um, you can carry that over into your music. Don't, you know, we, you, you, if you're turning up for a gig, don't be late or anything like that. If the uh, the owners of a club, pub or venue say you've got to be on at a certain time and off at a certain time. No, respect that, don't run over, you know, don't be a pain, things like that. And you'll, you'll be rewarded for it because the more likely I'm going to ask you back. Um, it's as simple as that. It's the same if you're recording anything. Take all the gear you need with you. Don't leave stuff at it. No point leaving it home. Just be ready for it. Um, just, just, just learn the songs that you need to learn. Same for an audition. Learn what. Make sure you know what you've got to learn. Learn it to the best of your ability. Um, yeah. Just, just, just don't be a pain and just be good at what you're doing. So that was kind of my take on that, really. Um, God, I love it here. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, there's that church. You know. Can you hear the sea lapping up there, the Adriatic lapping up against the harbour wall? Beautiful. So yeah, next thing is Marshall. I thought my amp journey was over, then Marshall bring out this JTM studio on 20 watts. What a thing that is. Hello? I thought of a new content idea. What's that? You just play play a game while you're filming your videos. Oh so right, so I can double up on yeah. viewers. Yeah. Hey. Hear that, hear that people. It's what, been creative. Me the game on it. 
Yeah. I'll, I'll record you some Benzo games. Benzo, my oldest lad, he's been creative. He's happy because he's got his Luka Modric shirt, haven't you? Yeah. He's got his Luka Modric shirt. 25 euros here. Quite a bargain, that, isn't it, Charlie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Charlie's getting very sunburned, aren't you? Tanned, you mean? Tanned, yeah, You're okay. You're the only one looking like the shrimp here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'll take that as a compliment, being a shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the JTM studio. I thought my amp journey was over, but no, I'm going to have to sell a few things and all the rest of it and find myself getting one of those. It's perfect for me. It's the perfect amp for me. Um, finally, the Strymon are So, I've been getting right back into analogue delays recently. Um, the Strymon Brig is a kind of digital emulation of uh, analogue delays. But, you know, it's, it's, it does everything I want an analog donated to do. It's got loads of extra features on it. Yeah, I like that. And I think, again, well done, Strymon, well done, Marshall, for making me spend more money on flipping gear. But, uh, yeah, Strymon break. I will be here uh, in some time in the future. I will be purchasing that pedal. Um, I'm using the Delay Llama again now, which is kind of awesome. But yeah, the uh, brake's got modulation, or you get presets a lot. Anyway, I think the wind noise is picking up now, so I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Stay safe, keep safe, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye.